Hi, and welcome back to Market Conversations. Today is February 16th, and I just want to talk a little bit about Zometica. Ticker symbol is Z-O-M. But before I continue, just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor. This is just for entertainment purposes only. I just created a Patreon page where like-minded people can talk about stocks, whether that is penny stocks, growth stocks, and dividend stocks, as well as option trading in cryptocurrency. Just about anything to help grow our portfolios so we can all achieve financial freedom. If you are interested, it is $10 per month, which equates to about just 33 cents a day. And you get access to the private Discord channel. You have access to my portfolio. I have Robinhood, Thinkorswim, and Weeble. And I am also going to do quarterly giveaways. And you will have a community to grow. I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. I am looking at the 20 day, one hour charts, and we can see that I started to pick up a lot of momentum back early February. And let's just take a look at the 180 day, four hour chart to see a broader picture. So back in November until beginning of January, it was just under point two four, and it went to a low of point zero six. This was in November, and we can see that it finally got a lot of momentum, a lot of volume around beginning of January. And this is when I first heard of Zometica. And then we can see that it's just been in this range for a long time of 0.86 and 127 for a month. It was trading in this range here until it finally broke out of it just last week and it went to a high of $3. Let's go back to the 20 day, one hour charts. So right now we have a few supports that I can see here. So I do see a support of 248 and our resistance is gonna be 284 here because we did touch 284 many times throughout the day it was once last Thursday, and then on the 8th, we touched it. And then many times we touched 247 on Friday and on the 10th, as well as on the 8th. So we started a new range here. If we could break this resistance up 287, we can easily break above $3 and continue to go higher. But there needs to be some sort of catalyst. And let's look at the volume here. It has slowly decreased. We see a lot of volume in this time frame here. It was eight and nine. And then the volume slowly decreased. Let's just take a look and see what's going on with Zometica. But first, if you don't know what Zometica is, they are an animal health company focused on meeting the needs of clinical veterinarians in ways that promote both patients and practice health. Their mission is to advance the effectiveness and financial well-being of veterinary practitioners by delivering professionally beneficial diagnostic products and services. So they do have their true forma that's coming out in March. So let's take a look at the news. We can see that they just had an offering. They announced closing of $173.5 million bought deal. So they announced a public offering of 91 million common shares of Zometica at a price to the public of $1.90 per share. So they are going to use the net proceeds from the offering for the continued development of its diagnostic platforms including making milestone payments, if any, as they come due, under its existing license and collaboration agreements for strategic acquisitions when they become available in other general corporate and working capital purposes and may use a portion of the net proceeds to purchase some or all of its outstanding Series 1 preferred shares. So this was dated in January. They signed True Pharma distribution agreements with Miller Veterinary Supply. So Zometica plans to begin sales 
on March 30th, 2020. So this is a very crucial day. And let's just take a look at the true forma itself. A breakthrough testing platform that aims to dramatically improve how we identify and manage disorders in dogs and cats. Based on high performance bulk acoustic wave detection, True Forma provides accurate reference lab grade results in approximately 18 minutes on average. Currently, many in clinic platforms lack the sensitivity and speed needed for rapid diagnosis. As a result, many tests are still sent to a reference lab. The advanced biosensor platform True Forma will shift this paradigm, offering fully realized reference lab performance at the point of care. Using industry standard microfluidic and electronic design, both the instrument and the disposable cartridges are easy to use. The cartridges provide incredible flexibility, performance control, and a broad menu of complex testing possibilities. The sample passes through the cartridge via a series of microfluidic channels and ultimately over the sensor, where the platform's incredible acoustic-based technology takes over. Trueforma uses a completely different new and extremely sensitive method of detection based on bulk acoustic wave or BAW sensor technology. The BAW sensor can detect subtle changes in the mass of specific molecules associated with a particular test. When an analyte of interest passes through the fluidic channel, it binds to the target molecule, forming a slightly heavier particle that resonates at a different frequency. This change can then be converted to a known concentration. Because BAW operates at high frequencies, it has a very low limit of detection, allowing these changes to be measured down to a level of 10 picograms per milliliter. The platform initially targets specific assay candidates to detect thyroid and adrenal disorders in dogs and cats. New assays and expanding capabilities are anticipated, including gastrointestinal, diabetes, renal, and infectious disease testing. All tests use a test reference analysis eliminating background effects such as temperature, viscosity, and non-specific binding. The mass-based detection is isolated to the surface, leading to breakthrough variance control. The semiconductor design means the platform is multiplex capable, which allows several tests to be run on the same sample. This is all done in an average of 18 minutes through a tabletop instrument, finally enabling clinicians to access the data they need in a time frame that enhances clinic efficiency. The platform is designed to interface with all modern vet hospital and clinic connectivity methods. So Medica's new BAW biosensor detection platform addresses the gaps that have previously prevented highly accurate in-clinic testing, providing reference lab quality performance at the point. I can see a lot of people getting to Zomedica before they release their true form of product. And there's definitely been a lot of people talking about the stock as well a lot a lot of youtubers out there are mentioning zomedica which will definitely drive up the price and right now we are in this range here of 247 and 287. if we can get some momentum some more volume here we can easily break above this three dollars and my price targets before March or by March 30th is $4. So I do have 2,500 shares and I plan to sell half of my shares at $4 and just write out the rest. So when the True Forma project does come out, we just don't know which way the investors will perceive it and how well the True Forma actually performs. So if Trueforma is successful, this stock can easily go to $10. So that's why I'm going to sell half at four and leave the rest in my portfolio. But when you are trading Zometica or investing in Zometica, just be aware this is still a penny stock. It's still very volatile. And Make sure you guys have an exit strategy. And that's all I have for you guys today. Please let me know what you think of Zometica. Are you guys bullish on it? And let me know how I can improve on this video. It would definitely help me out. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And do consider joining the Patreon page. There's already a few members in there who are wanting to talk more about stocks and options. So I'm definitely trying to get more people into the Discord group. 
Thank you so much.